Humidity is often featured in weather forecast uh, as in humidex numbers or just a percentage amount for relative humidity and is also important in building science as in equilibrium moisture content also heating ventilation air conditioning for occupant comfort because of the way humans cool themselves just the human body and it has to do with heat loss so humidity is fairly straightforward and I'll explain what's so relative about it humidity is just water vapor or moisture in the air in this water bottle here there is some water and you can see it condensating neatly all around everywhere at any given temperature liquid water evaporates and loses some molecules into the gas above it it doesn't have to be air necessarily water at any temperature liquid water at any temperature will have uh, vapor pressure and will evaporate some of its uh, uh, some of its uh, mass and will saturate well if it's a closed vessel it will saturate the gas in this case air above it once it once the gas above is saturated it condensates and uh, this is called dew point and dew as in ah uh, no that's ugly this way dew point there you can see it there that's dew point a dew point it doesn't have anything to do with cold or not necessarily uh, this is the middle of summer and you can see these droplets beautifully forming so however it does form in the morning dew forms typically in the morning and then the sun dries it up so as with any gas because we're dealing with gases here in a in a given volume gases are interrelated to changes in temperature and pressure so i'm gonna get back to the morning dew uh, first what's so relative about humidity because this water vapor in this given volume in a gas above it is uh, pressure related that's p for pressure pressure related how much uh, water, how much water vapor not steam but not necessarily steam steam is just hot water vapor so how much water vapor this given gas can contain uh, it has to do with the pressure of uh, of the vapor so I don't know I'm gonna go VP vapor pressure and it's being divided or related to the uh, the uh, vapor pressure at a point where it's saturated so I'm just gonna go set saturated and this is ACT actual the actual divided by the amount that it can be that there can be at a saturated situation when it's at dew point and then to get a percentage this is just times the hundred so for example if the uh, pressure uh, inside the vapor pressure is I don't know 30 and the maximum vapor pressure can be I'm just gonna go easy on the numbers 100 so 30 over 100 that's 30 percent uh, because 30 over 100 is 0. 3 and 0 0.3 times 3 there's your 30 percent I'm gonna write it here so that's uh, that's how it looks mathematically now because this water vapor is in a gas in this case air with gases everything is temperature and pressure related like I said and uh, if the temperature goes up oh, I wrote it here if the temperature goes up the relative relative humidity percentage drops down that's because this is a fraction and uh, that's how fractions uh, behave the temperature goes up the same amount of moisture that condensate at, at zero degrees uh, a small amount of uh, moisture is in the air and it's uh, vapor pressure is small if the temperature runs up the uh, the, uh, the whatever amount was previously saturating and condensating and forming dew or droplets of uh, liquid water on the side walls is now at a higher temperature not nearly enough to be uh, to represent a saturated amount 
so the relative humidity in relative to its saturated state it drops down and and uh, with pressure it goes the other way around if pressure goes if temperature dr drops then relative humidity goes up if pressure goes up as in the water vapor being squeezed out of the volume of gas above it then relative humidity goes up because it can contain at a pressure less water vapor less freely bobbing around uh, water molecules uh, than, uh, than at a lower pressure. So uh, relative humidity is important and that's basically what the numbers mean. Relative humidity is not so easy to measure and not so easy to calculate. There are complicated equations for it but that's basically the concept. It's a, it's a balance of the amount that's uh, floating in the air or a gas above a body of water and it has to do also with temperature and pressure.